the other day, <clears throat> Eric sent me a picture off of this trail cam and it was from like dawn and he sent me this photo and it's black and white because it was still on the kind of night camera setting. And I opened the photo up in text and I looked at it <laughs> and I was like, I, that's, that's not a coyote. Those are rounded ears and that stance, that's a mountain lion. Are you okay? Um, I'm out here finishing up our chores for the night. Eric is on his way home from work. He actually grabbed dinner in town um, to bring home because it's just been a really long day of regular work and um, farm work. I was just with the goats and um, I think that our doe is in heat and so she's been very, very, very vocal. And who we got them from she said, you will know when she's in heat because she will let you know. Um, and she has. So, of course, I've like Googled the other ways to tell and things like that. And yeah, she's definitely, um, you know, the vocal, the volume increased about 36 hours ago. She seems to be kind of settled down now, which is good. Um, I took them up to the stable a little bit earlier this evening because it's been raining and we don't have the greatest... Um, loafing shed for them yet so since I'm home I'm able to like kind of give them that extra attention and it's not a big deal just yet but we really want to have their fencing and their loafing shed figured out here in the next few weeks or so before you know we get to the hard winter um, also bringing me a lot of joy are the ducks who are a mess <laughs> um, and <laughs> they this is their first week where they're out during the day. They're allowed to leave um, during the day and do what they want. Um, and I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. There is nothing like a duck parade. Uh, grown ducks are absolutely hilarious and so fun to watch and be around. So if you haven't had a duck, have you even lived yet? So I'm also going to take a quick walk down to another part of our property. Um, it's not very far away from the house. Um, we have a trail camera set up. Um, down here, I would say about a half acre away from our house. Um, eh, maybe a whole acre. I'm really not good at that. So our house is over there behind that red tree. Here's the stable. And the area I'm heading to is just beyond that row of trees there. It's on the opposite side of those trees. And we have a trail camera there. I just got Eric a new trail camera this year for his birthday. Um, and it's one that sends the alerts to your phone so you can actually see the pictures in real time, which is awesome. And we've really been enjoying that. Um, Eric hunts on our land. He has a friend that um, also hunts here. And with this new trail camera and this new location, we've caught two different bucks, a couple of does, raccoons, coyotes, more coyotes than I care to see on camera, that's for sure. Um, and then a barn cat, who we didn't know was going down here, but we learned that. The other day, <clears throat> Eric sent me a picture off of this trail cam, and it was from like dawn. And he sent me this photo, and it's black and white because it was still on the kind of night camera setting. And I opened the photo up in text, and I looked at it. And I was like, I, that's, that's not a coyote. Those are rounded ears. And that stance. That's a mountain lion. <laughs> so this definitely uh, freaked me out. <laughs> and uh, I, you know, before I responded, Eric had sent um, and, uh, I was like, this is a freaking mountain lion. There's a mountain lion out here. And let me tell you, like, we're in Missouri. We're in the northern part of Missouri, northwest part of Missouri. Um, there are mountain lions in Missouri. But it's not, like, if you capture a picture of a mountain lion on your property, like, it's noteworthy. It's, some would say, newsworthy. 
Um, it's not a something that's like kind of commonplace like a coyote might be, or even a bobcat, which we do have bobcats on our property. One, it's not like normal to see a mountain lion, and two, uh, for me, even though I know they exist, it's like, uh, it, it kind of weird, I don't know, it kind of creeps me out thinking about a mountain lion being here. Then I look at the picture again, and I'm like, okay, this is fuzzy. Uh, this, this, this actually could be many different things. <laughs> Maybe it's not a mountain lion. Um, and I went to visit my friend in um, Maryville, a little bit north of here. I showed her this picture, and guess what she thought it was? Wow. <sighs> so, I did what any person in their right mind would do in this day and age. I posted it on Facebook because I was like, someone out there is gonna tell me what this animal is. And immediately people were like, mountain lion, cougar. Is it mountain lion or cougar? I always say mountain lion. Okay. And then there were people coming in like, I see pig. The battle of wild hog or mountain lion. I have a friend from college that works for the Missouri Department of Conservation and she saw this thread going and she was like, look, this looks kind of small but I can send it to my biologist friend and see what he thinks. And at this point I'm like, please, please do that. I'm convinced uh, that this mountain lion um, is here to eat my cats and possibly my goats. So I'm afraid that I'm going to yell kitty, kitty, kitty. Wow. And a mountain lion's gonna come running down the driveway. So she sends it to her, the biologist that she knows. And I kind of like shut things down on Facebook. I kind of put it up there as kind of like, haha, you know, Eric and I decided it was probably nothing and put it up there as haha. And then everyone's commenting on here and okay. I don't know, maybe it's not so funny anymore. <laughs> I don't know what I'd want less, a wild hog or a mountain lion. I wake up to a message from my friend who works for the MDC that says, can you call me at this number, please? I didn't tell her this, but that freaked me out. So I call her at the number and She's like, hey, I showed it to the biologist. He wants us to send it to this other biologist that's working today. Here's his information, pass it along. Okay, I'm thinking, that's a little strange. Why didn't he just say, oh, it's nothing? Not panicked, it's fine. So I call this nice gentleman and I leave him a message that says, hey, uh, we just got this photo on our trail cam. It's probably nothing. Um, you know, I just don't recognize the shape, so, you know, maybe it's, just just want someone to tell us what it could be. He calls me back and says that the other biologist had mentioned this to him and told him to expect a photo from us. And he thought it was going to be a series of photos, but it wasn't, it was just this one blurry photo. And he said, okay, we'll send it along. I don't make any promises or guarantees that I'll be able to tell what it is if it's a blurry photo. I sent it to him Friday, early-ish in the day. I don't hear back Friday night. Eric comes home, I'm like, listen, I haven't heard back from this guy. What if they're starting like an investigation on this photo? What if it really is a mountain lion? And my friend had told me like, if it's a mountain lion, it's probably starving. It's probably, you know, really weak. And I was like, starving doesn't sound great. <laughs> I'm waiting for this person to respond. I don't hear from him Friday. I'm like, this is it. They're about to like come out here with caution tape and uh, you know, a bunch of investigators figure out what this is. Eric goes out here. He's looking for, you know, trails and any signs of life, like what has come through here. He finds nothing. And at this time I'm thinking, should we sell the property? Is it a mountain lion? Is it a wild hog? You know, do we need to just pack up and move out? So I had some family over on Saturday and right before they came, I get a text message from this guy with the MDC. And it just had one sentence, just one. I think it's a badger. Okay, I'm kind of an embarrassment. It's fine. You know, this is what happens when you post things to Facebook and you start panicking about things you don't need to panic about. <laughs> so I laughed and laughed and laughed and added it to the long list of things that I've done that are embarrassing in my life. 
and uh, we moved on. One of the reasons that we moved out here is that, you know, we wanted to be closer to nature. We wanted to have an experience um, for ourselves and for our children that felt authentic to us. Um, and that means a lot of different things um, to different people. But the outdoors has always been something that Eric and I appreciate and enjoy. And living close to an area that's populated by so many, di so many types of wildlife and creatures, these are things that we really enjoy and really appreciate about our property. And it's part of the reason that we fell in love with moving here. And so I have to appreciate that in this natural ecosystem where we are kind of building our lives, there are going to be predators and there are going to be prey, with of course humans being the biggest predators of them all, um, and that we're all going to coexist to the best of our ability. I know it's really special for us to have that experience. There are mountain lions, there are bears in Missouri but that doesn't mean necessarily going, they're going to show up here. And if they do show up, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to impact our lives at all. But it turned into this kind of comical experience that I ended up sharing with a lot of people because so many people had an opinion on what this could be, this shadow at the bottom of this picture. So I'm really excited to share with everyone that we were all wrong. It's a badger.